the flowers here, I'm really thinking about like Asian American masculinity and its association with femininity. How does Asian American identity get torn apart and reconstructed? And then how do I reconstruct that identity? Once I drive away from the airport in Mexico City, some of the first people that you see on the street are typical people trying to make a living for themselves, selling fruits, vegetables, all kinds of different things. So I kind of just wanted to put myself as the reference, which is what I do in a lot of my work. And I kind of loved that that was a symbol of power. So I printed photographs of these legs from a 1970 occupation at Weinstein Hall here at NYU after the Board of Trustees canceled this gay fundraising dance and placed them at the foot of the building, kind of like the Wicked Witch of the West, symbolizing the way that these institutions cover up this history and showing that, you know, the dynamic and relationship between them is not seamless um, or cohesive really at all. So I usually use ink, color pencil, and pastel because I think the saturation of the color would be really nice because of the materials. I usually draw every day and I feel I'm writing a diary is part of my life. These two pieces I came about creating because I was starting to work with cyanotypes and that chemical process of development and I was searching back through all of my old photos that I had taken throughout my life trying to find ones to practice this technique with basically and I started feeling all of these memories and nostalgia for these times in my life. I feel like this piece, I was really thinking about the idea of home and how you create this idea of where you belong and where your home is. Who needs art Basel when we have Gallatin galleries? 